Have you ever wanted to see the undercarriage of a slammed car? Well, here you go, first off. Come in here. I'll show you guys over here. So this is a G35, right? As you guys that follow the channel know that, but... So see this? This is actually supposed to go all the way across the car. But as you can see, it's uh, <laughs> broken. It's actually a subframe. It's supposed to go all the way from there to here. But uh, as you can see, that is gone. So, uh, good thing, man, is that uh, if you look up here at oil pan, it's in okay shape. It's not bashed up or dented up or nothing. That's good. This uh, this piece right here, no, I can't really speak for. <laughs> That has seen better days, for sure. Look at these screws right here. So let's go bent, bent back. I'm actually under here trying to figure out what the heck is going on with my transmission. Because she is acting funny. The car actually didn't want to start. So, let's try to get this figured out. Oh, by the way, never do what you see me doing, man. Don't ever get under your car with just jacks, but that's why I got this tire under here because I don't got no jack stands right now. <laughs> so, if there was a failure, it would fall on, on top of this tire, but still, man, get you some jack stands. Do not follow what your butt doing. Yeah, so I gotta try to figure out why this car won't start, man. I came out here this morning. Car didn't want to turn on. I drove it here, so I don't know, man. This is just becoming one major headache, bro. Like one thing after another, after another, after another. Uh, it don't even seem like they related, bro. Just I don't know, man. Yo, so we got a <clears throat> ghetto bootleg. Charger, well, this was actually LED, LED light strip, um, power plug, took that, spliced it, inside the power cord you got positive wire and a negative wire, so what I did was split, split the cord in half, splice the positive wire and the negative wire, put them up to the um, battery, plug it up to the extension cord, and got it running in the house. We're going to see if this shit works. So, we're outside. And um, I plugged up the battery. And man, it, the bootleg, bootleg uh, charger works, bro. Because I came out before the car was doing nothing. I came out, put the battery in. And when I plugged up the, um, the battery, the car became responsive again. Like, as far as, like, the key and stuff. You know what I'm saying? When I hit the key, it, the horn blew lights flash and so now I'm actually hearing something coming from the battery area you hear this I don't know what that is let's see if I can pinpoint it from the interior oh no it's definitely coming from inside the engine bay Sounds like it's coming from behind the grommet. It honestly sounds like the sound's coming from like back there. It's not coming from this box. It's not actually coming from the battery. Let's see. Hear that? What is that, bro? Maybe this is why the battery's dead because something's draining. But, I mean, this is for one telling me the battery has some juice in it. Not a lot, though. So what I am gonna do is, I'm gonna let this charge overnight. So, I'll let it charge for maybe like 20, 25 minutes. 
And I mean, it wasn't enough for the car to do anything. Um, I didn't try to turn the lights on or cut the radio on or nothing like that before I came. I just literally plugged it up, hit the lock button. I saw that the lights flashed and it flashed pretty bright. So I went ahead and tried to start the car. Nothing, didn't do anything. It's pretty much as soon as I tried to start the car from the first attempt, it um, pretty much drained all the juice in the battery. So, oh man, y'all, I don't know. Um, still have the still have the starting issue with the starter the starter keeps getting disconnected I, I don't know if it was disconnected or not to be honest with you um it looked like the connection might have come a little bit loose earlier when i went under and check um i took it completely out put it back in so i mean i know that it's in there good now but I, honestly it felt like it was in there man um and now that i'm hearing this Yeah, I don't, I don't like how that sounds, man. That's something's drawing a current. Something's drawing a current um, from the battery. So, oh man, yeah, like, I don't know, man. I can't wait till we get past all of these gremlins, though. I'll tell you that. So, hopefully, when I do the new wire harness. Can get rid of some of these things like this. I don't know what this is now. But good thing is. Alright, y'all, it's the following morning. I'm about to take the battery out to the car. And uh, we're gonna see if this charge overnight did anything, man. I hope so. Let's see. Well, y'all. I plugged up the battery. Man, I'm surprised this camera is picking this up. It's dark as hell out here. Plugged in the battery. And as soon as I plugged the battery and the headlights came on, um, yeah, man, I plugged in the battery, the headlights came on, I turned the headlights to the off, to the off switch, and they didn't turn off, they stayed on, um, I turned off the, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't turn off, I tried to turn the car on. Um, same exact thing, man. As soon as I tried to turn the car on, the car just, the battery, or the battery rather, just lost all power. So, I don't know, guys. This is just, like, this is the story of my life, man. This is the story of not just this car. Every damn car I deal with, man. It's like, it goes so well during the process of, you know, like, when I'm just driving the car, don't have the money to do any of the mods I want. Can't get the car built how I want it. You know, I got plans for it. I got dreams and goals. Man, the car will run all day. As soon as I actually start feeling that happiness of getting the, the, the build on the way and, okay, cool, the car's taking shape. Hmm. Stuff like that start happening. And the car wasn't having battery problems or um, starting problems like this, uh, electrical stuff or the lights won't turn off. Man, this car wasn't having none of those problems, man. So this all started with the motor going down, replace the motor, car ran great for like two weeks. And transmission starts acting up, replace that one, replace the next one, get to the third transmission at this point same situation as the first one um no nah, i gotta get this wire harness y'all i gotta get this wire harness man i can't keep dealing with stuff like that you hear it look at this that's what's clicking I wonder if it stops when I hit the brakes. Let's see. Okay, let's see. I'm looking in the reflection of that car. I can see the brakes are actually still flickering. Huh. 
You know, it's interesting now that I hit the brakes. I don't know if they're still. No? Yeah. I don't know, they're still flickering. Oh, man. So. I guess I'm in the. I guess I'm going to be in the market, man, for this wire harness for sure. Um, outside of that. I don't even know right now. It's like so many different things now. It's the it's the transmission situation going into limp mode. It's the front brake solenoid situation going on. It's the uh, I don't know, man. Like just a lot of different things going on. So. Just gotta take it piece by piece, man. Piece by piece. Start with the least expensive um, solution that makes sense. And I guess just go from there, man. So. Show goes on, man. The journey continues. I'll holler at y'all. All right, guys, so it's later today. And, um, Checked underneath the car and it looked like the brake switch stopper that's supposed to push the button on the brake pedal was off and that was why the brake the brake lights were on. I replaced it and you see the lights are still on. Like, I'm not getting this dude. See? Let's see if it turns on now. Beeping. Talking about the key. I got the key right here. So, I'm gonna lock it. The wheel's in the air though, so it's not gonna lock, right? Did you see that key light come on? Lights are still not coming on. This did not lock though. Come on, man. Let's try this trick. What the heck? Okay. All right, y'all hear this, right? So, it's got battery. Lights are all on. This is not working. Oh. The car is on, it's on accessory. But this is not lighting up at all. I'm about to check and see if they got one of these here. I'm on my way to Nissan Parks to see if they got one, but I was literally passing by here and I was like, bro, they probably got one land. They got stuff like this here. This here. This, wow, that's dope. This looks super familiar. All right, man, let's see. Yeah, y'all need to give them a holler if you're trying to get yourself tuned, get any work in you in the H. How you doing, man? And I got a quick question. I'm actually on my way to Nissan to the parts department. Uh, I got G35. I can't. I got a new start. Single it down till I have this random weird fuse that's blown. I might have that fuse. I was like, you know what? I was literally at the Shy Mac over there, and I was like, man, you know what? They probably got one of these laying around somewhere. Let me see if I got it. I'll be right back. Cool. Appreciate you.
All right, guys, so um, I'm leaving Nissan now. Um, leaving Nissan because uh, the tuning shop, they didn't have an extra one. Um, they did me a solid. They went and checked around the shop, checked a couple cars. They didn't have one. And they actually just did the same thing for me here at Nissan. Um, the parts guy actually went to the back. He said they have a bin full of um, fuses and whatnot. And he went, he checked, and he had a fuse that was real similar, but this one is a... 50 30 30 and i think he said his was like a 50 50 30 or something like that so it wasn't quite the exact match so he told me call infinity get the part number for this and then come back with him we can cross reference the infinity part number and see if they got it so i'm gonna do that man Yo, guys, I'm excited as hell because this actually came early and this is what I needed to get the car started. Um, this is the, um, the ignition switch fuse. This is actually the reason why my car's going to start. So I got this uh, via Amazon. So you can see right here. Three way 58 volt fuse ring. It's on the thing. This is the 50 30 30. So, yeah, man, that's uh, that's getting my car started, man. So, I'm hoping I should be able to plug that in. And uh, I don't know if the battery is going to have enough uh, enough charge on it still because it's been sitting out there for a few days now. I'm going to have to do my little ghetto rig. Um, I still got my little battery charger, so I'm going to have to get a rig, a battery charger up. But, um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to plug this in and I'm going to plug the battery up and see how the car starts. Right there. All right, y'all. So as you can see, the car has been moved. So man, I've been able to. <laughs> man, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know, man. She just thought it like she want to act right, man. Um. So we did replace that fuse, that red fuse, the, the triple fuse, the one that's got the um the ignition switch on it. I charged the battery. Um, yeah, man, I charged the battery. Came back out, put the battery in. And um, came out came out this morning. Tried to turn the car on, car fired up. Um, now, here's what I noticed. Uh, I thought about this last night. And I just didn't try it till this morning, but um, my brake lights were on. So, um, I had messed with the brake switch underneath because I thought that the, um, the brake pedal wasn't pushing the, the, the button, the switch, whenever I would hit the, you know, hit the, hit the brakes to try to turn the car on. Well, my lips are dry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so um, I put a screw through the hole that pushes the button on the, um, on the brake pedal. So this morning I came out and I just pushed the button just to start the car, but no, without pushing the brake pedal, the car turned on. That's what I figured it would do. So I, I figured that the brake lights were staying on, probably because of what I did. I probably um, was make. I probably had it where the pedal was constantly pushing the button, so the car thought I was pushing the brakes the whole time. So I had the battery disconnected overnight because I didn't want the battery to drain because of the, the brake lights being on. But now man, I've been driving it around this morning, just around the, the apartment complex. I mean, it's the, the crazy thing is that y'all, the car is shifting. The car is it's not stalling or nothing. It's driving like it's supposed to. Man. So I'm not gonna take this as the car is fixed, um, because you know the car. So I'm not gonna take it that the car is fixed and that I have no work to do. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing that needs to be addressed. Um, but I don't know, dude. It's definitely electrical. It's definitely an electrical problem because if something was mechanically wrong, it would always be mechanically wrong. 
um, broken mechanical pieces don't fix themselves and then re-break and then fix themselves and re-break. So this is definitely something that's mechanical. Um, I already have a, um, a new engine wiring, new engine wiring harness on the way. Um, it's not new, still used. It's from another, it's from another donor car, but it's just in better shape than mine. Mine's not in very good shape, so I'm still gonna replace that, and hopefully that cuts down on some of these issues I'm having. And um, and I still ordered some um, some ABS wheel speed sensors. Well, I ordered some, and I don't know. I gotta get with my bank, man, because whenever I order parts, they always kick, they always uh, kick the transaction off. And I gotta reorder it or call the bank and tell them, no, that's me, it's me, it's not, the car's not stolen, I'm actually buying parts online. <laughs> so, um, yeah, y'all. So, I mean, I don't know, dude. I don't know if when I was messing around with wiring, if I moved something or made a connection more solid on something or what, but it's where we're sitting right now, man. Um, actually, I'm gonna hop in, take it around the corner park it so see like look going to change the wiring harness i'm still going to change the wheel the wheel speed sensors the abs sensors um i think that my valve body is okay though man i think that the solenoid i think i was getting the solenoid code possibly because of the abs sensor i think that my front driver's side abs sensor is uh either dirty making bad contact or just going going in and out going bad and I think that it makes the front left uh, driver, I think it makes the front driver's side uh, caliber uh, trip out sometimes. And I think it actually makes it apply pressure and clamp down from time to time. So I'm gonna be changing those calibers anyway, so if there's anything wrong with the caliber, that'll be addressed when I change the calibers to the Acabonos. Um, the wheel speed sensors will be changed. Um, new wiring harness. So whatever issues I was having, they should be gone, so. I mean, uh, I mean, this is good news because I could drive the car right now, you know. I mean, I still keep an eye on everything, but I don't know if the temperature changed. It's gotten cooler out. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I have no idea, y'all, but, man, this is what I got to report back. So, like I said, I'm still going to make all of my changes to try to actually solve the problem. But this is what I mean when I say these cars are temperamental, man. I mean, like, what is going on? All the problems, I haven't done nothing, man, but replace that fuse. And I mean, who knows? Maybe when the fuse is going bad or something, it causes those issues. I don't know, but I guess we just got to find out. So, all right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and sign up off of this right now.